Welcome everyone to exercise number 16a. In this video I would like to show you how to edit your shape files and also how to use the topology tools to make the editing process a little bit easier than you would normally think of. So we will start here with the exercise 16a and we will just visit the first bookmark. This is par parcel size and you can see here two parcels which has to be deleted from the data set due to some reasons I don't know. And therefore we need of course the editing function. You can adjust, uh, adjust the visibility of that tool by going to customize toolbars and selecting editor or you will just click on this here which will activate and deactivate the editor toolbar. So first of all of course start editing tools. We will concentrate on parcels but we won't create new features we will use the edit tool itself so you can easily select features by pressing inside the polygon or on the edge of it and so as you can see you can also drag it around a little bit by pressing uh, control and um, I think it's Z you can go back to your previous uh, state in editing. So what we've done, we have now selected this one and as I've said, you can drag it around as you like. By pressing Ctrl Z, you're going backwards. You can also choose these both things here, redo move and undo move. So um, there's a bit different, so this is just selecting by double clicking in it you can see the vertexes and each of these polygon is built up out of vertexes. Um, so they're forming a line and due to the fact that the line is reaching its own uh, start um, you have created the polygon. So what you can now do is just by editing this one or selecting this one and pressing the delete symbol over here or pressing delete on your keyboard you will erase that polygon from your working area. So we have done this now. This is also done in the in the attribute table so it's uh, gone there. We will now just save our edits and we will go to the second parcel side. There we have to do a little bit more than just uh, deleting some stuff. We have to change or we have to edit in fact this parcels over here. You can see that the parcel line is not drawn correctly here in this area so it should follow the sidewalk and yeah so I would like to show you now the topology toolbar which will give you or which is much easier to use if you, uh, if you would like to edit a lot of features and especially polygons that are connecting or connected to each other. So first of all I will zoom in a little bit. I will now double click with the edit tools on this polygon number 2768. Now all the vertexes are, sto are uh, shown over here. You can have a look on the sketch properties. So there are all the vertexes listed and their positions. You can easily select them and um, what I will do now is I will hover over this vertex here and as you can see the symbol is changing. By using, using this other kind of symbol you can drag around your vertex to the, special, uh, to the specified location where you would like to have this vertex. So double clicking once more I will now drag that vertex over here on the sidewalk and I will now do another thing. I will right, uh, or I will double click it as again, so the vertexes are visible. And by right clicking on the line, I can insert a vertex. I've now inserted this one. I think it should be listed over here in the. Oh no, it's not. In the end, let's have a look where it is. So this one is there, this one is over there, so it should be somewhere here. And as you can see, you can also type in the coordinates of your vertexes, which is very, which is very useful if you have uh, something like map 
properties and you know that the, it is on that certain location and not a uh, half feet left of it or something like that. So now I will select this one and drag it over here to this location. So this is it for the moment but one thing is still missing as you can see we have two features joining each other in this vertex and this one has a vertex and this one has a vertex on the same position but uh, let me show you something I will now change this vertex or change the location and as you see these both polygons are not connected to each other anymore so I'll now just go back I will save the edits here so so and um, yeah how to avoid that well in this in, in this example I will show you here it is not that kind of a problem because there are just two polygons joining each other you know the snapping tool so you can easily snap these vertexes back on each other uh, afterwards but what will you do if you have five polygons pointing on on one location or you have a lot of polygons um, or you have two polygons and you would like to create a new line and so you have to adjust each vertex after uh, after um, after uh, one and another so what we will do is we will use the topology toolbar once again customize toolbars you can choose from the list and the topology toolbar is just um, visible here without being grayed out if you are in an editing mode so what you have to do is you have to create a map topology so allows you to maintain coincident geometry across multiple data sets when editing as our vertex is one so uh, there's also tolerance so when our two vertexes are joined to one or treated as one so you have to adjust uh, or you can adjust that here um, we we'll just press an OK and by double clicking and then using this uh, topology edit tools you can easily search for that point here and you can change the position of that vertex and you can easily of course zoom it to uh, or locate it on the correct position on the edge of that sidewalk so once again just click on save edits we will now have a look on the vertexes again and as you can see there are just two vertex or there's still just one vertex and for this polygon and one vertex for this polygon but as you have seen this uh, topology edit tool makes it much more easier to ob obtain and, and uh, recreate the topology that was there before so that's it for the moment thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye and have a nice week.